Hey, how y'all doing out there? This easy work boxing, baby. About to hit you everywhere, but under your feet. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for y'all support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all know what time it is. Got to talk about Danny Garcia versus Errol Spence. First, I want to say I got to thank both fighters for giving us a spectacular fight. Well, not spectacular. I'm, I'm not finna say that. Uh, thank them for giving us a fight, you know, for us boxing fans to watch. You know, uh, I want to thank them both. You know, I'm happy that they both are not injured or hurt bad from this fight. But I got to go in. I got to be real. Um, for this to be a pay-per-view fight, it sucked. And I feel sorry for the people who actually went out here and paid for this fight. Now, and I'm not saying that to diss anybody. I'm just saying this was a lackluster fight. It looked like a spar match. Um, and I think majority of that blame goes to Danny Garcia. Spence is the one who gave the fight. Spence kept coming forward. Spence was throwing combinations. Danny Garcia the whole time has sat there and waited on Spence. Um, I said Danny Garcia had no balance. You can see that Errol Spence used that and he watched that from his footwork. Errol Spence has great distance and he knows how to use his feet well. He knows how to use his distance with his feet too. Uh, if you notice, he would put his foot always on the outside of Danny Garcia's foot or in the front. Because he knew that Danny Garcia didn't have the reach or wasn't going to come in from his non-athleticism or willing to be athletic and come forward and try to create a fight. So Spence basically just used his distance, good jabbing, a uh, smart move with the jab. Because one thing about Spence, he does everything behind that jab. Long jab, you know, uh, keeps that left foot in front of his opponents, creates distance for his opponents not to hit him. Um, you have to be able to go into the side, and you have to be just as big as Spence to beat Spence. It doesn't have to be the whole fight, but you have to at least do it in patterns. You can't let him put out more activity or more out offense than you. Than you, And that's what Danny Garcia did. Um, I think after the fourth, third round, Danny Garcia went into survival mode. Um, I think the first left hook that Errol Spence landed uh, – in the first round, actually, I think that slowed Danny Garcia completely up. I think it took a lot away from him. <laughs> now, I'm seeing right now in the 12th round, Danny Garcia coming out throwing everything he could. Why you didn't do that in the uh, first 12 rounds, man? You see what I'm saying? Uh, basically, in my opinion, Danny Garcia been white glove this fight. Um, I didn't see him winning one round. Um, they tried to be nice and give him the, uh, I think the what, ninth or tenth round. I didn't see it. I don't know why they get it. I guess they tried to be nice, but Danny Garcia fans, y'all upset. Y'all should be upset, especially if you pay seventy something dollars, eighty dollars to watch this fight. Really, in actuality, you know, I know I'm gonna get bashed for this game. Uh, it looked like a spar match. It looked like they were in the gym for twelve rounds. Danny got standing there in front of each other just throwing tapping punches. Now, Errol made the fight, but Danny Danny is now a gatekeeper. I was on um, World Combat Sports, and uh, we was talking about the fight, and that's basically what I said. Danny now has become a gatekeeper of 147. Now we finna see Jerron Ennis want to fight him, Virgil Ortiz finna want to fight him, and every upcoming 147-pounder that's out there finna come out to Danny Garcia because now Danny is a gatekeeper. You know, Danny is a hell of a fighter. I was expecting more from Danny. My first time when I was predicting this fight, it went exactly how I said. I was trying to be more of a, um, you know, give Danny Garcia a chance, you know, by my second opinion, you know, um, trying to go off his resume, the fighters that he's beaten. I'm thinking it would be a better fight, you know, an entertaining, more entertaining fight. But due to Danny Garcia, and shall I say, in my opinion, his laziness in the ring, his um, unwillingness to return fire, you know, that's what happened. You know, Danny come out short. You know, and, um, like I said, I think Danny Garcia does not love the sport of boxing anymore. I think Danny Garcia, Danny Garcia is small. He's a businessman outside of the ring. I think Danny Garcia has set himself up so well that he doesn't really love the sport anymore. And I think he showed people that tonight because he showed no fire in him to go out there and really want to win that fight until the end of the 12th round. You know what I'm saying? So, 
And when I say that Danny Garcia is a gatekeeper, and has no disrespect. I mean, if you've been watching the game of boxing for a long time, you know that once a fighter who has stepped up to what Danny was and keeps losing continuously like that, then he becomes a gatekeeper. You know, like I said, now you're going to see the upcomers, Danny Garcia versus Ortiz and Jerron Ennis and a lot of upcoming guys because he's going to be the gatekeeper of 147. But um, this was a uh, good fight for Spence. In my opinion, Spence white glove, Danny Garcia. I don't know whether somebody else may, a Danny Garcia fan may try to change that and say, oh, it was a close fight. No, hell, it wasn't. It was the, one of the easiest fights i never seen Errol Spence have to fight. And it's sad because Danny was supposed to be way better competition than that. You know, but I always said that you have to be aggressive to beat Spence. You have to give, give him the same activity he gives you, even if it's not in the same time. But it's just like he come and you come. When he throw, you throw. You know, not waiting on him, but you go out and you give him the same fight that he gives you in pattern. You know what I'm saying? Time. And try to catch him when he opening up. That was one of the major things I said for Danny Garcia to have to win this fight was that he had to catch uh, Errol Spence opening up. And he didn't do that at all. He said him weighted, jab, right hand. Then he did a little hook to the body, left hook to the body, step over. And his balance was so bad that that messed him up a lot in the fight. That jab stopped his time. So that was a smart move. You know, uh, jabs, you know what I'm saying, stopped that time in uh, Danny Garcia. But Errol put on a good fight. You know, uh, Errol showed that Danny Garcia ain't on his level. And Danny Garcia showed us that he is now a gatekeeper. And that, in my opinion, he don't really have a love for the sport of boxing no more. Like I said, no disrespect to Danny. I just think that Danny has been a smart businessman. He's created uh, wealth for him outside of boxing. And I just think he don't need the sport no more. I don't think he had a fire for it, the love for it anymore. And I'm just wondering, like, why didn't Danny have, like, bigger sparring partners? Like, why didn't you have, like, a, a longer southpaw? And it looked like he was fighting guys of his reach who were southpaws or something because he should have known he was going to have to be more active in that fight than just standing there and work, moving off the back foot. Spence pushed him around the ring the whole fight. So, you know, you got to give Spence his props. Uh, Spence, had, I mean, Spence had great distance, great timing. You know, um, I liked his uh, footwork, not moving around the ring as far as bumps my how he would put his right foot in front of Danny Garcia and on the outside, trip him up, you know, um, make Danny uncomfortable with his balance. So Spence did a good job, you know, for all to say I'm a Spence hater. You know, but um, – that's all I really got to say about the fight. Shout out to Errol Spence Jr. You know, he still retains his belts. So he go home, still a champion. Now we get to see what's upcoming, you know what I'm saying, next, you know what I'm saying, for Errol Spence. Now we get to see we get to see the Terrence Crawford fight. Both of their schedules are open. So now it's time to see what's up, you know. But uh, I thank y'all for tuning in. This is Easy Work Boxing. Thank you for your love and your support. Hit your notification bell. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. It's Easy Work Boxing. I'm out.